Hey guys, how you doing? I'm in Gzira. I'm gonna cross over into the Manuel Island. Now it's called Bishop's Island in the old days, but there was another name for it. Tell me in the comments. Anybody know when they uh forget exactly the date. Many many years ago Malta had a cholera breakout, it was way back. And they built a hospital here, isolation hospital. It was called another name now in this place. Uh, then the knights built this massive fort which you're gonna go and see. It's a windy day, so we're gonna see plenty, plenty of waves, I think. Zero. I noticed that look at that place over there. I've drove through Tony Bees about a year ago and that's popped up. How many floors is that? It's about 30 floors, I think. It's massive. It's, uh, I don't know if that's Pieta, Xira. It's right on the border anyway. Where's that Tajbish? They're all come, they're all together there. Anyway, we're in Manuel Island. That bridge connects it together. Which way should we walk? I want to show you this as well, where I'm here. Might as well show you this. This is interesting. A uh, lot of people, when I did the video, let's tighten you. I just saw it wobbling. Hang on a minute. Hang about, guys. Talk to my Chris uh, You know, I've been here. It's been a long time. It's been, I think it's been before the COVID that I came over here. But in 2019, they were going to do a complete refurbish of the place. And they were going to do it like combined with uh, apartments and things like that. And I think they came to lots of opposition about it. So what they've done now is refurbed in 2021, I think it was, late 2000. They've put more over to the public. I think that was the problem. Uh, but still nothing started anyway from here. This, um, this was divided off here to build condominiums, but they didn't do it. And here's where the dock sanctuary used to be. It's gone. People are going to say, oh, Steve, the house sad, it's gone. But it was a real mess there. It was a big attraction for rodents and that, because the food used to be half eaten and that. But they're, they're doing all right. But pigeons here, though, and ducks. And somebody puts water, look, fresh water for them. And they just live, how are they supposed to live? Nature. They had those little houses, remember? I'll put a little picture if I find it. It was called the Duck Sanctuary Manuel Island, I think. Have you been to it, guys? Tell me in the comments. It was a sweet thing, but it needed refurbing or it needed get rid of. Anyway, it's a windy all day. It's been raining all day. It's been uh, non-stop raining from the beginning. So we're going to have a look at the fort. We're going to see what's happening, if anything. I don't see any cranes. So I guess nothing's happened. There's an isolation hospital. There's a British hospital that used to be here. They used it uh, lots of times. Many boats here, look at this. And these bikes. I'm speeding up again. Oh, she's speeding up again, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> she's going into a hyperdrive. Yeah. <laughs> Look how nice, thank you. And there's plenty of ducks here, look. Those, uh, I was watching them earlier there. She wasn't very big, she's trying to lift that thing up onto the pavement. Then we will stop off in the little places on the way and show you. Look, plenty of ducks. Nothing happened to the ducks. Just that monstrosity was pulled down. Do you get attacked by ducks, guys? I, I need to bring some bread next time I come over. I'm not going to touch you guys. You carry on sitting there in the sun. That's Xira there, guys. A lot of us. There's a uh, two, three, I think there's two or three hotels. So maybe if you come to visit Malta, you would be stopping there. It's a nice place, Slima. Slima uh, going up to St. Julian's, Baluta Bay. It's a little bit more expensive. I think it's the most expensive part of Malta because if you go and stay up in Bujibba, a little bit cheaper but not many places in motor are cheap now I tell you 
and we're going to carry on up. This is where the condominium, condominiums <laughs> get your teeth in, Steve. We're going to start, but perhaps it's money, guys. Perhaps it's money. I don't know, because it's going to be a. I think the organisation was uh, MIDI. There's, they do a lot of construction all over the island. They got a few bob, I think, and it was a, a joint thing with the with the government to make it a green area around by the fort. You'll see the fort. And a uh, lot of vloggers have been down. I've never been underneath the fort. There's a lot of tunnels under there. Obviously where the British, either it was done by the Knights and then the British converted them, I don't know. Like they did that video, did you see guys under, under I, I was blew away. A few years ago, Valletta Council opened up underneath the law court. Well, I heard there was many sort of, uh, many tunnels all over Malta, all over Valletta, especially. And I, but I didn't know it was that many there. And you could go, you can actually go down that one just by the law court and go all the way to Fort St. Elmo, right down the very bottom. They were all built by the Knights, obviously, at the beginning. Escape tunnels, if they got, uh, they get out and leave the Mortis behind. <laughs> And when the British said it would be a good idea to all the Maltese together, mostly Maltese dug it out, I think. And they thought this would be good as a war shelter. So he was telling me, go and see the video, guys. Uh, it was a narrow tunnel, so then they had to widen them out and make rooms as well. And they did it in, I think they only did it in six months or something like that. Wow, it was like, when you go down there though, it's worth the 15 euros. I got a concession because I'm an old bugger. But uh, I'm not sure how you would work if you're, you might get, if you bring your passport, if you're over 60, you might get a concession. So have a go. I'm out of breath already. Come on, let's get up to the tunnel. We'll have a chat up there. We'll go and see what the waves are like. We'll just have a walk. We'll have a shofty. This is my island in the sun. I never walked all the way around, you know. Dog owners must be on the leash. <laughs> it's a big place. I don't know how many square meters this is. Complete island, only you can get to it uh, by car. And they look like they've blocked it off there. It's got a sign from that midi. I think this was the isolation, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know much about it. But this was a hospital, I think, uh, from the British. But there was an isolation hospital it was built by the Knights for this cholera out epidemic. But it was it was knocked down, so I don't know if it was built rebuilt or something. This looks like by the British this. So it could be some kind of uh, let's have a shuffle up there. You might see something going on. I don't know if that I don't know if you're supposed to walk up here. <laughs> let's have a go. They don't look like proper steps. Oh bloody hell, going to disturb the cat and he's in the sun. You stay there boy, not going to hurt you. Oh, it's a big, oh so you can walk that way. So we'll have a look over there as well. Looks like an air raid shelter. Look at the, look at the view, sir. So we'll walk back. I think that's the fort over there. <laughs> hey, over to you guys. They don't look like proper stairs. Anyway, let's carry on, get a bit nearer. A lot of yachts around. into Manuel Island now. This was uh, named after a knight, uh, Manuel Villena. There we are, look. Look at the view, Xera.
Now tell me in the comments. I know I know people get on Google. <laughs> Where was the hospital? Was that the hospital? Or is this coming up? I've seen many signs from uh, that MIDI, MIDI, M-I-D-I. So they must be the, the owners of the island. Maybe I don't know how they got the owners of an island. But uh, like all places in Malta, nobody can own the foreshore. That's open to the public. The government owns that. Because the head office is here, look, of MIDI. Anyway, there's Gzira. I think we're going into Slima then, almost. What a nice view, eh? It's a bit windy, hope it's blocking it up. But I was tempted, uh, I saw it like something on Facebook come up about it and I thought, I wonder if they started work on it, but they haven't done anything. So either they're having more trouble because they're having a lot of opposition with the amount of build, already they've reduced it down. From 2019, there was going to be more uh, condominiums and less for the public. 2021, there was more for the public and less for the condominium. So, <laughs> wonder how far they're going to push it. It's been a, uh, it's been a rainy, not that sort of, you know, we call it Manchester rain. Most of it, we didn't come down a lot. We need rain. I'm not complaining, by the way. Um, but it was that sort of, just wet the floor a bit and then it came down a little bit more. All St Paul's is uh, being refurbed. I want to get in there, I've never got in there. That was built on top of an auberge. Uh, I'll put the name below, it was a, a very rich lady. She came to Malta way back I think in the British time and she realized there was a there wasn't a co-cathedral of uh, you know uh, Church of England so with her own money she built it they knocked down the burge I bet it would have been because that was uh, I think three of them been knocked down now like the old burge de Castile you know old burge de Fr Provence they're all like knights places look at there look at the nature here though it's awesome. I bet it's gonna be windy out there by Slima. Oh, they still went out on the uh, on the cruises. I haven't been on that one yet. Anybody been on that one? I don't know what it's called. I can't remember the name. I went on that night with that nice guy. He was still went around with the guided tour and everything. It was half empty the boat. A couple of years back, wasn't it? Or last year. Ooh. Now I've got a bit of a problem here. If it gets too late, the Black Knight might come out. He's known to uh, haunt this area. He comes out to the chapel. Because somebody's buried down there in the chapel. Hey, how do you get round the... the doflop? How do you get round? It's changed a lot down here. Or it's just overgrown. <laughs> I haven't been down here for ages. Oh yeah, here comes the front. And the fort is just here somewhere. Now if it's still open, the fort. The fort was open uh, the last Sunday in every month. I haven't been there. And they did an open day and I'm, I missed it. So I couldn't get over to it. Wow, look at this guys. What a fantastic view. Isn't that awesome? All right. Oh, nice. There's Valletta over there. Slima Point. Xera down there. Very nice. We've got to walk around. I'm not sure if there's a... <laughs> I was holding you down at an angle. I noticed these all around. I don't know what. Service date. I wonder what it is. That's like a... It covers up like a pump or something. We're gonna keep walking around here anyway. Lots of iron around and stones. But this looks like it's been walked quite well. I thought it might be a bit rougher, but it's not.
it's uh it's still weak by the way just in case somebody watches this video <laughs> oh, oh, later on so uh most of the people are got mindset on that now there's a lot of processions Ooh. Very windy. I miss you the ferry. I don't think the ferry is running today. It's a bit choppy. They don't run it over. I haven't seen it going across. Just that tour. But that tour tends to stay near the coast and the ferry comes right across I can't see it anywhere so oh. here's the impressive fort coming up guys Steve don't blow away I thought it'd be like this though. I'm gonna have a go I don't know if I can do it go around I never did that on this video I might do it Hey, they fence it off up there. At the top, that was open there before. Um, I saw a car, I think uh, Pierre and a couple of others, they did a... Underneath the tunnels, I never went to it. So perhaps that's trying to stop you doing that. <laughs> It was it was nice underneath. We've seen most of these tunnels. These uh, forts have got tunnels underneath anyway. I show a clip. Show if I find something about the tunnels, I'll put a clip under now. Which one shall I go on? Shall I keep going here? Steve, the camera is really wobbly. But the bloody ground is wobbly. Manuel Island, guys. Very impressive. So it was built by the Knights. The British obviously took it over. I think there's a fence there. All these uh, stairs, there's a fence. Stopping you go through. Oh, somebody's... Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look here. Oops. <laughs> I noticed the bike there, but there was somebody... Oh, look at this. This, this was like this before, so it's not going to actually fall. Serious risk of injury or death. We don't want to die today, guys. I noticed this is interesting. Eh? Look at this, where they used to tie the boats off. All the walls look a bit knackered. <laughs> Can you blame them with this gust? Blowing them all the time. Isn't that beautiful? So here's the fort, Fort Manuel. Oh, and Marco Hart's Elaine, Elaine is it? Elaine. I wonder if they're together. <laughs> is this dark coral as well? Oh, this is photograph time. Ooh. <laughs> How oh, nice. 
I want to try and get into to that uh, cathedral. I'll have to go over one morning. I'm not sure if they're opened it in the mornings. Every time I've gone over, it's always closed. I would love to take a photograph. So, we're on our way up to Fort Manuel. I think before you could get across there, but perhaps it was the summer that I walked across. I've never been here, they did an open day and I missed it. I did the live up here as well once, and so I met somebody <laughs> years ago, before Covid I think it was. Anyway, we're going up. Fort Manuel. Oh, there's that guy. I wonder if he's still on it. Forgot his name now. What's his name, Joey? Because <laughs> they're all Joey and Maria here. Yeah. Nah, it's changing now. In the old days. You could get to the top of Valletta and shout down, Joey! Oh, Maria! Half of them would turn around. So here's the fort. Uh, I thought it. I thought it'd be closed. Impressive. Until they finish, if they finish this area into a touristy area and, uh, and open it all up into a green area, how impressive, eh, guys? What a view! I can just do a a three six zero. Let's do it now. The point, Slima, Manuel Island Fort. Valletta and the walls there look Manuel Fort they're everywhere this midi so they must be deeply involved here important notice the vistas Oh, so there it is, look guys, that explains everything. Midi PLC is providing the public with a pedestrian access to the foreshore over Manuel Island. Daily access will be available between the sunrise and sunset. Should the gate be closed during the said period, kindly ask the security personnel to access. Midi PLC would like to advise the public that although all efforts have been made to render Manuel Island as a reasonable, safe and possible, oh, safe as possible, there are numerous locations within the island that are still pose a danger to safe and according to your kindly request remain in the confines of five meters from the shoreline <laughs> so that's a uh, that happens all over the island but some people don't don't adhere to it especially landowners that one especially over by uh over tasilch What's the other the place you go down? I forgot what it's called. I went down there, it's a disgrace. It's a big disgrace, the way he put fencing off. At least they haven't got any fencing here. And he got a guy with a gun. <laughs> Last time I went, a security guard with a gun. Crazy. How they get away with it? That was interesting. Bajema Fort was occu is occupied illegally. And it's going to be still occupied until the person that's occupying it illegally is found an alternative accommodation. <laughs> Only a mortar. Either he's got friends, because if it was me, they would turf me out by now. How oh, nice. Oh, there's plenty of places around here. Secluded places. So that goes back up around the fort. We're going around the fort. So this is blocked off the fort here, here the moat. But there is a nice video, and if I can find it, I'll put it on about going under the tunnels. Very interesting. 
but most of the forts in Malta had escape routes for the knights to get out. And then when the British came along, they extended the, uh, the tunnels to get them for uh, Camera Taguara, they call it, uh, World War II shelters. Hey, there's uh, some yachts out there. It's good weather for it. I've done all that. It's a really nice walk down here. Ah, hey, look at that tunnel there. It's the first time I've noticed that. Going underneath the road. Could only get to it by, by road, I think. By boat, I mean. Maybe something's on the other side. Keep to keep that in mind. Come on, let's carry on around. Let's see anything from this side. Hey, I did a nice video the other day. Uh, Maltese ceramics over in Ta'ali. I went over to Ta'ali and I did about, not on the one day, but I've done three videos of Valletta glass, Ta'ali, uh, Imdina glass, and just ceramics is up at the moment. So go and help me. Didn't get a lot of views. Tell me why. Is there a reason why he... Oh, look at that under there. Is there a reason why he didn't like it? It really struggled up to a thousand. So if you haven't watched it, go and have a look at it. It's uh, behind the scenes of a Maltese ceramics factory. Probably this is the way you used to get in. Now it's all fenced off. Or is there another way to get in? Sometimes there's these sort of fences that are sort of a little bit loose. <laughs> you know what I mean. How's your father? Wink. Wink, wink. Oh, there's some more. This is all like... Uh... This is the back of the fort then. Like this would easily uh, open up if you wanted to get in, but it's a no entry. I'm guessing that the tunnels are down there somewhere. Like this area here, it's all broken. In. Most of it is broken away like that. <laughs> I guess the tunnels are underneath here somewhere. But don't go, my greatest kiss. <laughs> let's have a quick look, because I haven't been on this side before, guys. I thought, let's have a shifty, what the buildings are like. Mostly they all need to come down. Look like British buildings here. Oh, the wind is blowing on this side. Even that's the fences. If you want to be a bit adventurous. But no entry. You're only allowed on the foreshore. Oh, look at these, like, uh, I've never seen these before. So it's new to me. Look at that building, just coming up from nowhere. I wonder if it's going to go any higher. It's going to be like uh, Porto Maso easily. Oh, lots of buildings over this way. It's all fenced off though, guys. I guess that's very dangerous over there. You don't know what you're going to come across in the undergrowth, you know, like the potholes and the... This might be like uh, the hospital as well. Any idea, guys? Oh, it's certainly windy through here. Well, sadly, we didn't come across the Black Knight in full armor. Looks like something like that, like a hospital. 
and it looks like it's uh, a bit nearest to like British architecture because they used to have that sort of those stones most of their buildings are with that stone so I wonder when it's going to start this uh, Manuel Island upgrade something or other <laughs> so it's 221 we're into 23 already so a year another year's gone past lots of buildings over here as well hey I've never been this way I always fancied uh, having a walk look at this cactus here This looks like it's all part of the fort there, I would imagine. I can hear digging. There's a massive uh, marina there. Let's get down a bit further, guys. Come back to you. Windy, windy day though. At least the rain stopped. Interesting that. One complete loop around. That's where we went up there. And we came from that way. And back to the gate. <laughs> Bye guys, take care. Manuel Island, the loop. That was good. She opened the door for Englishman. Opened the car. I thought it was for me. <laughs> Never mind. I thought I was getting status. <laughs> <laughs>